What is up, everyone? Another day in paradise out here. Uh, rolling over to the shop, and I came across some artwork here that I think is really cool. First find of the day, and I'm gonna take this for sure. Those two, and then these two. Super cool pieces of art. Um, it's a little bit later in the day. I haven't started filming anything. I've been having some problems. I wouldn't say problems. It's like learning this new program for editing is, is just time consuming. And I, to be putting out a video every day is just crazy while trying to learn a new program and work and get everything that I need to get done. So like, I've just been spending hours trying to figure out how this thing works. And I got one video out. Dude, Scuba Steve. What's hey the claim, dude? Dude, working. Living the What's dream. Your claim? You scrapping this? What's this worth? That's that's sick. It's all right? on eBay, right? Nah, yard sale, flea market. It's life. a good alley. I literally just found it. Oh really? It's pretty sick, there, right? Yeah, it's nice. Some nice artwork for the boys. <laughs> well, it's good, though, dude. Nothing, just working. That's, that's where what I've you, been at for a bit. In this house? Yeah, did, we lifted it, did the siding, did the water table around, did some stuff in the inside, built the steps, did all the Azek work, and so you guys are pro. Yeah. <laughs> all right. But yeah, what I was saying before I just saw the boy, uh, it's just been an upward battle, like, to try and really get videos out every day while still learning a new program. Uh, it's called Premiere Pro. It's like the, probably the best editing software they got on the market now. And, I just don't know anything about it. So like I know how to edit on iMovie. I've used Final Cut before, but you know, every program's a little bit different and it takes a while to get the glitches out. So just bear with me. That's why my videos have been a little bit different and the editing's a little off. Someone even said it in the comments in the last one, but um, yeah, we're just going for it. You know, we're not gonna give up. The, the dream is real. I'm gonna continue to keep pushing and I have exported another video and I started editing the third one so I'm learning it and it's getting shorter to figure out each time I just need to figure out how to make the files smaller so I can upload them easier because I was just at Starbucks and it was taking like two hours so I just left so I might need to export it again in a smaller format but yeah we're here at the shop and just gonna chill for a little and then I got some scrapping to do later. A bunch of radiators that Ali's neighbor has that he wants to get rid of. And then later on, meeting up with Robbie Beach to go over some work at his mom's house in Atlantic City. So I'll film all that, but until then, I'm just gonna cut the tape so I don't have an overflow of footage. <clears throat> all right, Ali's actually in court today. So we're going to wait it off until he's done if he's ever done i don't know what he's there for realistically something stupid with like his car i'm sure that isn't even a crime but i started working on some other stuff i'm gonna be sending a couple shirts patches more or less to georgina so this is actually a screen print of a stencil of her. This is the piece of art that I made out of the original print. Uh, Love is the answer. And then this is just another print that I'm sending to her. So she could wheat paste this or just hang it up or cut it out or make art out of it. You know, whatever she wants to do. And I'm gonna send a stencil too along with it. So whole package going out to California for the dream. All right, so this is how we're gonna do this. If you guys have been following for a while, you've seen me do this before, probably with the exact same stencil. Here's the original. I'm gonna lay it down on this other piece of cardboard, and I'm just gonna spray over it 
with spray paint. hold my breath through that one because it wasn't too big but usually if I do anything crazy I'll just wear a mask because I've been spray paint for a long time making stuff and I just I don't want to fuck my lungs up over over the years but yeah I got a picture from Danny Roberts uh, this is just his his copper hoard right here it's copper number one I'm assuming at least the the strip wire is um, That's pretty much it. I got a couple messages from some of the other boys. Dylan Hamilton, he's going to get a magnet. Uh, I'm about to package it up right now and probably send it out tomorrow. And yeah, that's the dream. The dream is real, so we're just continuing it. Alright, so here it is. Spray painted on there. So I'm going to cut that out. Also, what we're going to do is... All right, what we're going to do now is make one that's just the outline so we can have a two-layer stencil. Just the outline and cut out the outline. Found this thing in, in that box, that metal box full of stuff yesterday that I got out of the trash. I just remember back in the day, the camel bucks. Uh, I mean, I don't know, this might be for my time, but even when I was like 16 smoking cigarettes, I knew the fucking camel bucks because I would smoke camel because that's what my dad smoked back in the day. The old school soft pack. They just don't make cool designs like these anymore with the all seeing eye and shit for cigs. They changed up the game, but this is legendary. Alright, <clears throat> about to be in Atlantic City, just crossed into Atlantic City actually. We are going over to Robbie Beach's mom's house. I've worked on here before. I don't know if I made any videos of it though. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't. It was before I was doing my daily vlogs or it was before I started filming my work a lot. But either way, they have a carriage house. It's pretty much just a huge garage that's almost finished, like fully finished, except for there's no bathroom, no kitchen. There's like a downstairs and like an upstairs bedroom and they want to convert it into a rental so they can make some money because the taxes are so high here. It's unbelievable. They're just pretty much ruining the people, not the businesses because like the casinos get crazy tax breaks, but the local people that just live in houses are getting swamped by high taxes. Like, I'm talking like twenty thousand, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year, like more than you would pay to rent a, a, like a house. So she wants to try and make back some money. So she's gonna convert the whole thing into an apartment slash an Airbnb type thing, and me and Robbie are going to see what we can do within our means and then we'll, we'll bring in some other people if we have to but we're going to um, we're going to go for it and see what we can get done done for cheap so we don't have to so we don't so she doesn't have to spend a lot of money that's the claim anyway so this is the property here this is the house um, it's really nice I actually redid I worked on making all this like it was all fully collapsing and someone was saying they have to redo the whole thing so I kind of just replaced some of these bricks you can see these aren't even real bricks actually these two right here they're kind of just like the top layer of those little like fake bricks that I put in there but um yeah I don't know where Robbie is I think he might be calling me right now 
So one of the jobs we never got to was refinishing this, scraping the paint off, you know, and repainting it. But the reason it was leaking is because the roof was leaking and literally someone came and said, you're gonna have to take off everything off the roof and redo it for like thousands of dollars. So we just literally put flex seal down on the roof and it stopped the leak and it hasn't been leaking since she says. So this is from previous damage. And uh, well, you can see right here, I put these three bricks in. See how they look different? So uh, those three I replaced. I mean, I'm not a brick mason, but I did all this, like put these in and made it just better holding it, holding it together so she didn't have to throw down like 10 grand, you know, to redo this. We, last year, the vines, well, they grew back, a lot of them, but they were covering pretty much the entire house and me and Robbie pulled them all down and cut them. Uh, he's doing it again, I think, or someone is, because there's a huge pile of debris. And uh, see this bamboo fence back here that lines this? I put that up uh, about a year, more than a year ago, probably, and it's still s sitting strong. So that lasted pretty long. Uh, I did some work down in the basement down there, but I'm sure the door's locked because his mom's not even here right now. We did, we filled in a lot of this pond too, but it doesn't look like we put enough in there. But we filled it with sand and bricks and debris. She was trying to get rid of the water, rid of the water because of the mosquitoes and stuff. But uh, looks like there's some crazy operations going on here. Like, all this wood needs to get out of here, I would claim. But uh, yeah, so this is what we're working on, this part of the house here. That main house, she probably has work that needs to be done, but the carriage house is the operation. So, it's locked, waiting for Robbie to get here. As a pro landscaper. I got into the landscaping business when I was younger, about like, you know, seven, about 18 years old. And I did some good landscaping with the big machines. But now, I, as time's gone by, now I'm a tree trimmer. So I got this huge, long 15 foot pole, it's electric, <laughs> blade just spinning, tree cutting. You see over there, I got that. Yeah, but you were going hard in it, dude. Yeah, hard, ham, anything you want to call it, but it was getting done. <laughs> we're talking about that, that, I was. Yeah, you know, you're supposed to trim them to the, to the tree though, right? Yeah, we were. That's uh, what someone was telling me at least. Probably, but I'll just claim I was making a ladder for the squirrels. Do you get poison ivy from back here? I didn't see any. Yeah, I was, I was acting like I was, um, I was covered from head to toe, even my hood. So, come back here, uh, got this all tree out, and then there's a tree right here, over this whole area that was all fallen down. What's up with all that wood? That's all stuff that's just been there, that like, I went back there, it's pretty cool. Um, Cause that's a lot of fucking... Like the old, like, old shit thing. Yeah, for like burying bodies. Yeah, I'll show you. I've seen that oh, pit. Right? I just walked over here, but then I was like, I was like, yo, the cat just shit right there, look. Where? Oh. Or, or something, a cat, right? I don't know, that might be or a like cat. A, or like a possum. I think this is a special home for like a raccoons, or a possum. This home. little hole? Down in there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what is this for? Uh, for compost? Dumping bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Your claims. Yo, Seriously. the thing is, this debris day. problem back here is the problem. That's a problem. Like, that's never getting cleaned out, right? That's probably going to be like, oh, I'm going to put that on the list. <laughs> you know, like, for the fall or something. She'll be like, can you rebuild the shed, take that stuff out, and cut a couple of these trees down? Yeah, that's a raccoon shit right there. That's what you claim. <laughs> it's nice in here. It's nice. It's just one. So here's the thing. This guy came, right? He was pretty cool because he was like 80. So this is a luxury place to hang out in. This is luxury. It just needs to have like a rug on the floor. It's a, you know, get some of the stuff out of here, some furniture. This, get, this is good uh, Remington lifestyle. Like 
This is an actual push mower, dude. Like, no electronics. No, no electronics. <laughs> it, it just needs a little WD-40, but the blades are sharp and precise. They got it to the, to the right. perfection, right? right? To perfection. I mean, I put this mower together one time, but I never used it. Robbie used it. I used it yesterday. So he knows what he's I doing. Know. That thing can cut. So here, this guy came over. He was uh, like 80 years old, and he had a black shirt with a skull on it. And I was like, whoa, you know, and he was a friend with Rod and Mary Beth down the street. So he wants to. I know that guy. Him. I was going to do something for him, but I never did. And, but uh, he's cool. Oh, uh, Rod? Yeah. yeah. Dude, this cheetah uh, carpeting. There's a little, there's a little turds in here, too. They got keep life all over in here. This guy. What is that? It's a boy. Is that like, uh, what do you call that? Like beta? No, no, this is <laughs> like, 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 like real film, right? Yeah, like eight millimeter, maybe, I think. Yeah, old eight millimeter. That thing's cool, though. You wind her up. Have you used that before previously? Not this one, but I had I had one that actually worked pretty good. That's too too expensive to get uh, yeah, you gotta, to get converted, right? You got to find a place to do it, yeah. And so this guy's got like oh, there's his, there's a faucet though. There you go. The for the bell. for the oh, there's not a faucet in there though. It's part of your beta max, dude. Is that beta? Flashes? No, I don't know what it is. It's more film shit. How about that? I didn't know this stuff. What was this one? How about that? What's going on with me? I'll tell you what. I mean, what else? who else is going to use it? Not anyone, right? I at least put it on display. <laughs> this it tells you a chart. You need, I need that still. This These are like for the old it. film to right, huh? Yeah, for like the negatives. How's this lens? What? You could use this for your red. <laughs> oh. Just plop that boy right on, you know? <laughs> this will make some images that you can't pay for. Yeah. Or want to pay for. Freak but, show shit. Yeah. You never know. What is this? Guy. Where did this stuff come from? It's not yours? No. Uh, You're kidding, right? I have no idea where it came from. I didn't even know it was up here. <laughs> this thing's like a little spy cam. That thing's cool. <laughs> what is this? All right, we're getting into a little bit of the basic uh, outlay of what actually is going on in here. Yeah, that's not a water pipe. I don't think. Does it even go to anything or is it cut off at the end? No, it's weird. It just goes into the ground. Yeah, wait, maybe it is. I don't think it looks like a stove pipe though, because it's metal, it's cast iron, like a water pipe. Straight on up there. But I think but I don't see any one of the first anymore. steps is going to be gutting this room slash figuring out if there's actually water in here, and then going from there. Because if there is water, that saves the big process of trying to figure out how to get water in here. Electricity. Yeah, there's an outlet down here. Yeah. Two, actually. Electric. All right, we're in here, and we don't know if there's water. In this place at all. At all. So we're gonna need to go through this wall and check it out. trying to go and we were thinking just like evaluate the situation but now we're going full demo <laughs> what is your claim about this Robbie yeah, I didn't mean for it to be like this but sometimes you got to find you out where the you gotta, where you gotta figure out what's going down the still fucking wall is coming off watch the wall then. the problem is this room might need a gut anyway should we just pop in here and see what we got? This is a tough idea. Well, dude, 
no pipe though, dude. That's what I'm trying to get. I mean, we gotta find if there's a pipe. How would you know otherwise? You don't. Nothing but asbestos flying around in here. No, it's not. <laughs> it's too old of a house to even have it. You were you were making these claims, these heavy claims. False claim. <laughs> this has got to like, be you were telling me a stove like, pipe. Pop some shit in here, you know, real quick, and then start living Squirrel in here. Squirrel hole. All right, this is not hopper or coal hopper out there in the back. And this thing is, is a, a stove, stove pipe. pipe you yeah, yeah, it's probably got down there. It's probably got an opening for it. And I bet you that's how. And there was a stove pipe in here. And that is probably a drain for. You know, just washing what like stuff, stuff down out, there. Yeah, and all the whatever gets in here. Then they used a bucket to clean themselves. Yeah. All right. Later, man. Any any claims for the boys? It's not what I thought. <laughs> Wait, life or or the house? The house and life. <laughs> All right, uh, just got done over at, at Robbie's mom's. Uh, it's not what we thought. We thought there was going to be plumbing in the, in the carriage house. And we thought we were going to set a serious plan for fixing it. But we couldn't find any pipes. We tore apart, you know, the walls and shit, trying to get down to the, the nitty gritty of it. And we couldn't figure it out. So we're going to see, wait and see what his mom says, what the next plan is. So we're not doing anything yet and uh, off to the next adventure. Ali has a bunch of aluminum, or uh, cast iron scrap for me, some radiators. So I'm going there to pick up whatever he's got. He said he has 12 of them. I can probably put like three or four in my truck, max four, and we'll see. Hopefully they cut them up, because putting them in here holes is crazy. But um, good scrap life for the boys. Good. You got heavy, heavy claims going here, huh? Yeah, we we got some uh, we got some beautiful radiators here. I, I would keep them all. But, uh, Why don't you then? <laughs> you know, uh, my odds with the world. But, hey, we're, we're doing alright. You could keep these at, at your place in Mays Landing. Yeah, the whole idea is though, I want to build a giant pile of thermal mass. I'm gonna link them all together. And burn them in a giant compost pile. Dude, you can't do that. I've been doing it. I've spent half my life doing that. Okay, but this is um wreckage. It's a lot. Yeah. So you could keep lots, lots of beautiful you iron. You could keep some of them. Yeah, right, the thin profile ones. Why don't you load them in your truck? Right. Truck's full right now. <laughs> well, not that. Is this Scrabopolis? Or are counterproductive for Scrabopolis to scrap these? Oh, it breaks my heart, I tell you. It does, it though, does. right? Yeah. I'm, I'm not quite suicidal over it, but I could be. You know, <laughs> you know it's, it's... Yeah, but what, what would you do with these if you, if you didn't do this? Huh? What would you do with all this if you didn't scrap it? Well, like I said, my idea is to, like, build a giant pile of thermal mass, you know, under a compost pile. And like the earth ships out in the desert, the reason they stay like consistent temperature year round in the middle of the desert is because they have so much thermal mass. Yeah, but you have enough to do that already. Yeah, but I, why not make it bigger? <laughs> 